Hey what's up guys, totally dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash Darky ROM XXJVR Base by Fisetto. So I'm going to go ahead and flash it, I'm on uh, JVQ at the moment. What you want to do is get Darky ROM tool. So I'm just showing you my process. As you can see 10.2 down there and I'm on 10.2 uh, RE JVQ Base with 2.9.3 Dark Core with a ZSJV5 modem. Right, so as you can see I'm fully charged so I'm just gonna unplug that. Good fight wire. And now I'm gonna open up the Darky ROM tool app. It's a, a newer one so if you haven't updated please do update. Select the things I want so it's recommended to do install kernel and modem. I'm gonna do the swipe keyboard as well. And I think that's about it. I'm not going to wipe. And find the XXJVR base. Press OK. And there you go. Once that's doing that, I'm going to explain um, how to flash um, JVR. Um, this is based on the guide which is posted on the OP. Um, and that's made by John F. So credits for him, credits to him. Sorry, uh, I just would like to say uh, that no tomatoes were hurt in the making of this video, as a sign of me eating a sandwich with tomato in it. Fortunately, tomato was killed, but hey, just in case. Anyway, um, so are you on a gingerbread darky rom? Yes, cool. Are you on JVQ, however, because you could be on 10.1, for example, or JV, um, your JVP. If you are on JVQ, yes, that's good. You can select a wipe or no wipe. So just like what I just did, I did a no wipe uh, on uh, my installation as I was on JVQ. Uh, however, you can select a wipe if you want. Um, then you can back up your apps uh, via uh, Titanium Backup and then Flash. If you are on J, if you're not on JVQ, however, so that means you're on a gingerbread ROM, you will have to wipe. So before you want to wipe, you can make a backup via Titanium Backup. So that's um, an option that you can do. Then after that, you can flash. Here is the phone currently booting up. If you are not on a GB-based ROM. Um, and it's not darky ROM, so it could be, for example, Dewey's JVQ booting up right now. So if you're not, then first of all, first and foremost is backup. Uh, if you're coming from Froyo for example, uh, it's best not to uh, back up your data as well, so just the apps. But it's up to you, but it's best uh, just to back up the apps with no system data and whatnot. Then you'll have to flash 10.2 RE, so 10.2 is the, the final uh, JVQ. And uh, this is Resurrection, so it's an Odin installation which can be installed on anything. Um, then, after you've installed that, once you're on 10.2, you'll basically end up uh, back over here. Uh, so you're on JVQ, then you can select wipe or no wipe. It doesn't really matter because you've already wiped over here. And then flash away. Um, and then once, once you're on J, um, JVR, you can um, restore your backup. Just bear in mind one thing, however, when you're at this stage, or even over here, uh, when you're about to flash, make sure your lag fix, system lag fix and lag fix are both enabled. In other words, if you go into recovery or your voodoo, um, voodoo control at plus, you will have three boxes. Debug is over here, as you can see my beautiful handwriting, <coughs> not, uh, and you can see system usually and you can see lag fix so um, what you want to do is enable that enable that and forget about debug if you if they're not enabled for example I know if you flash 10.2 RE there used to be a problem it's been fixed now but there used to be a problem just double check go on the voodoo app if you don't have the voodoo app just go into uh, clockwork recovery and make sure these two are enabled if they're not enabled, enable them by all means, reboot, you'll get the voodoo voice and once you've booted up then you would have these two successfully enabled. So make sure your lag fix is enabled as well. So you remember over here lag fix enabled, over here lag fix enabled. It doesn't matter if you're wiping or not, it, it really does not matter. Lag fix has to be enabled. 
So apart from that, I'm just waiting for the um, phone to boot up. Currently loading with a Galaxy S symbol. So this is a it's a brand new ROM, a JVR base. Um, Fisetto released a similar one um, for uh, for the SGS2, and um, yeah, it's it's similar process of flashing except obviously SGS2 has have got a different um, different ROM, not exactly the same one so to speak. That's what I'm trying to say. So as you can see, it's a uh, it's trying it's it's themed just a little bit uh, it's as uh, Facetto uh, says it's got a JVR modem uh, for i9000, it's got Odex framework, Odex browser with no lag, Deodex the rest uh, super user, busy box, open VPN, bash and ram hack on it so there you go, so there you go, you got the, I've got, as I did a no wipe I'll just allow super user right there, as I got no wipe I'm just gonna go for a launcher because Fisetto was um, loving that one. He was saying my SGS1, SGS2 look the same, and that's simply because of his uh, his launcher um, and the launcher are identical. He's super smooth at the moment. And let's go for a TW launcher. Looks like TW3 by 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 the looks of it. But yeah. I think, I think so. Yeah, it seems like TW3, but I, I could be wrong. Anyway, I don't use those um, those launchers. Hate them, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> I use Zeem launcher because I much prefer it. So um, I'll just go show you about phone. As you can see, there's no over scroll glow right now, but uh, as you can see, 2.9.3 uh, is on there. It's a JVQ. We know that, but you know I didn't skip the kernel or the modem, so they're the ones which are included. So that's what's included, uh, and you can see JVR base. So 2.3.4 JVR uh, modem with a uh, JVQ uh, kernel, so to speak, 2.9.3, and so there you go. So um, apart from that, uh, as you can see, the battery bar is the full battery bar right there. It's not uh, uh, styled seems like the CSC version is fine. Uh, let's open up this browser. Things I went for no uh, no wipe. Uh, that's a different um, green glow over here. Just notice that. It's a different colored green. Obviously my internet is not the best but uh, yeah I'm already signed in. That's that's fine. You can see my uh, things are there. It's got darky ROM. You can see the most important things in my life on my phone. Just that. Darky ROM being one of them. <laughs> um, doesn't seem like it's lagging at all. Oh, that's pretty cool. Much smoother than the normal one. I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks much, much smoother. Uh, let's go for 10.2. Obviously, my uh, internet connection doesn't really help either. Oh, it opens with default <laughs> of uh, I opened Dolphin there. Uh, my bad. But anyway, um, it seems like a really good ROM, a really good stable. And um, yeah, apart from that, I um, hope you enjoyed this video guys and please do rate, comment, subscribe and uh, be tuned in for more updates. See you guys. Bye bye.